Sometimes when I look back on my teenage years, I'm amazed that I'm still alive because my buddies and I did some reckless shit. Like the story I'm about to tell you where me and a couple buddies took some mushrooms and then climbed to the top of a water tower. So I said this before in one of my other videos, but the town that I grew up in in Western Washington was growing like crazy as I was growing up. And one of the things they built was this giant ass water tower that was on the far side of some woods that separated some nice housing developments from my shitty trailer park. Uh, and it wasn't one of those ones that was up on legs. It was like this giant pill looking thing that had a door at the bottom and it had some stairs that went up to the top. And I don't know the logistics of starting to use a water tower, but this thing was empty for a couple of months. And originally it had like locks and chains all over everything, but uh, around my way, locks and chains had a way of getting cut. So me and my buddies had already been inside and on top of this thing a couple times before this story. So one day me and a couple of buddies are in possession of some of nature's spicy candy. We decided to make ourselves some tea. We head out in the woods. Uh, and I've told the story before about taking a heroic dose and being completely incapacitated for like 14 hours. But this one was like a medium strength right in the sweet spot that even at its peak, I could still be out in public and not lose my mind. Uh, and we end up at the water tower and we had been inside a couple times before, like I said, and it was trippy as fuck to be in there sober because it was just completely black and the echoes were insane. So we're like, we should go in there on mushrooms. Uh, and it was pretty cool, but I wouldn't recommend doing it as your first time on psychedelics because a thing that can turn your trip south real quick is transitioning between wildly different environments and going from regular outside to a black void that echoes like nothing in nature is pretty fucking jarring. And originally we had closed the door behind us, but we decided after about 10 seconds that we needed to have a little bit of light because it felt like we were being crushed into a black hole. So we're in there for a while. Uh, and in one of my other videos, I talked about the different types of visuals that I would experience. And one of them was like looking at an old CRT TV with the color channels a little bit misaligned. So you have like red and green and blue and it's like wavy. Uh, and what I was doing in the water tower was just walking around the edge with my hand on the wall. And my buddy Tyler was in there throwing rocks. And every single time a rock hit, I could feel it reverberate through the wall. And I would see these little multicolored things popping in and out of existence. Uh, and that shit was fucking cool. And I did that for a while, but then the other guys got bored and they're like, hey, we should go back outside. So we ended up going back out there uh, and it's me, my buddy Tyler and my buddy Ryan. Uh, and Ryan had to think about heights. He didn't fucking like them. <laughs> they were not his vibe. He was the only one of us that hadn't been to the top of the water tower. Uh, and we were like, man, come on, dude. It's going to be super cool. You can see fucking everything from up there. And he finally relents and we climb up this fucking thing. Uh, and the water tower itself was on a hill, but it was also taller than all of the trees. So, I mean, whatever the average height of a pine tree in Western Washington is, it was that plus a little bit. So we get up to the top and it's easily the coolest part because you can see the entire town and it feels like we're in a spaceship just barely off the surface of the earth because you got cars and people and birds and planes and you can see the trees like kind of waving back and forth with these multicolored after effects just chasing after them. So we do that for a while, but my buddy Tyler has always been a zippy motherfucker. So he gets up and he starts walking around the edge of the water tower uh, and the stairs to get down are behind us and he ends up on the far end and he sits down and he looks back and he says, okay guys, bye. And he slides off the edge. So I'm sitting there dumbfounded for a couple of seconds, but Ryan immediately loses his mind. And he's like, Tyler, Tyler. And as he's sitting there screaming, I stand up and I go over to the edge. And the way that the top of the water tower was held onto the rest of it was these giant fucking bolts. And what Tyler had done was slide off the edge and grab one of them. So I look over the edge and he's hanging there, staring back up at me with a shit eating grin. And I kneel down and I'm like, I think you broke Ryan. He's like, ah, he'll get over it. This feels really cool, you should try it. And I look back at Ryan, I look at him, and I'm like, man, that's fucked up. All right. So I look back at Ryan, I'm like, hey, hey, he's fine, man. He's still moving. And Ryan's like, he, he's good? And I'm like, yeah. And I slide off the edge and I grab one of the bolts. And as I'm doing that, I hear Ryan go, what? And I'm hanging there staring at Tyler, and we just start cracking the fuck up. And after a couple of seconds, Ryan hears us, and he's like, what the, are you, what is happening? And Tyler pulls himself up, puts his feet on one of the other bolts to stand up. I follow him, and as I get up there, Ryan's like, not fucking cool, man. Not fucking cool. I'm like, sorry, man. It was just a joke. And Tyler's like, there's a really good view over there. You should go check it out. And Ryan's like, fuck you, man. And he stands up. And he walks down the stairs. We follow him down there. And he's pissed off at us for like a couple of days. But he finally forgives us. Uh, he never did go back up on top of that water tower, though. I can tell you that much. 